Hey, this is Chris at Numa Coffee Roasters, and we're just going to do a little uh, bit of a tutorial with the Spaziali, this little espresso machine. It's the S1. This is the Mini Vivaldi 2 uh, machine. So I know several uh, churches and ministries, several of our friends, coffee friends, have these machines out there. So we just want to coach you a little bit on how to keep this machine clean. All right, so today we're going to clean out, uh, we're going to take the portafilter off of the machine. And then we're going to clean the group head, the shower screens, and this, this assembly right here. So if this hasn't been disassembled in a while and cleaned, uh, there's a chance it could be extra tight. So um, you're going to need this little wrench that you should already have. Make sure you can see that there. And if you don't have this wrench, you can just find the, uh, a socket, a little socket set, and just find the socket that fits. I want to say it's 3 8 That might be the size or the metric uh, size that's closest to that. But you should be able to loosen this screw right up in the middle of the shower screen. So I'm turning that screw, pulling this out. Um, so depending on how dirty these are, they may be stuck in there. So I've got the screw. I want to be careful not to lose that. I'll often put this inside a little mug uh, so I don't lose the pieces. And if you have trouble getting these off, you can use just something like the steaming thermometer or a little screwdriver and kind of just pry pry this off of here and see if I can get it there we go so we've got this brass this brass distribution kind of the brass block here that water flows through uh, this series of screens um, like this so as you can see this is very dirty um, these screens, extremely dirty. Uh, so a lot of the coffee oils, parts of pieces, particulates from the espresso get clogged into these screens. So what these should look like is something like this when they're clean, okay? But in order to clean these, what you wanna do is put them in, I usually put them in a little uh, mug like this, or you can have some little bucket that you put um, some hot water. All right, so I've got some hot water here. And uh, this is our Kafitza, the cleaner. There's similar products called PuroCaf, Kafitza, Ernex, all those kind of things. Um, La Marzocco has their own brand. It's just a little powder that basically breaks down. And uh, you're gonna need some a brush for cleaning, and you may have this particular brush. It's a three-in-one tool. It's got a little spoon on one end for scooping this powder out. Or you may just have a simple, um, brush and then you can just scoop a little a little powder it really doesn't take much one spoon of that so we're going to let this soak usually for at least 15 minutes sometimes up to an hour depending on how dirty it is i'll let that soak while that's soaking we're going to um, we're going to take our brush here and you may have a different brush there's a wire bristle brush that also comes with this machine that you can use um, but basically, you're going to brush up in the group head area and just get all the loose espresso, all the buildup from around there. 